All right, let's learn a little Kedusha Slavi. Yikhuli Trumais Kol Yishashed Venu Levi Tikhus Trumasi. Exodus 25, verse 2 says, And take for me an offering, a, lift up, a lifted up offering, from every person whose heart is generous, you should take my offering. This is the offering you should take from them. Gold and silver and copper. Verse 2 and 3 in Exodus 25. So the High Ligabad Nitchavarub Sulamain teaches us. The Hine Kalada Mechuyev Laavoid as a Bori Baracho. The Masa Machshava. Every human being is obligated to serve the Blessed Creator both in deed and in thought. Shal Yedea Kavana, by Machshava Kedusha, Kedusha, as I bezem make him, the Shkinta Mirafra. Because through the proper intentions, through the proper thoughts, holy thoughts, at the time when one is engaged in a devotion, in a mitzvah, then through this he raises up the Shechina, raises up the Divine Presence, Me'afra, from the dirt. So the, the thought is what lifts up God's presence in this world, and the deed is what lifts up and benefits the human being himself. It's interesting, the Chobos Lavavas points out that if one commits a sin unintentionally, the punishment is much weaker than an intentional sin. So we see the power of intent. No one is ever put to death for an unintentional sin. He only has to bring a sacrifice, right? Whereas the the death penalty, that's for what are these guys doing? Ugh. That's for an intentional sin, you know. And so the same thing is with a good deed. If we have, uh, if we don't have the proper intentions, how can we expect the reward? We have, we'll have some reward, but not the full reward. The Kedusha Slavi here is explaining. What is that full reward? Meaning, the action benefits us, and that's all well and good. But the thoughts are what lifts up the Shekhinah. Whatever that means, but I think that's much greater, right? So the highly of he says, through this we can answer and understand properly what the scripture is telling us. Every man whose heart is generous, to whom room is alamachshova. When he's saying his heart is generous, it means that he has generous thoughts. Al trumasi. Through this generous heart, that's where you will take my truma, meaning the simple meaning is the offering, but the word terum means lift up. That's where you will take my lifting up. Meaning you lift up the name of God, the glory of God through the proper intentions. That means, so to speak, the shechina, the divine presence, is uplifted through the holy thoughts. And this is the offering you should take from them. This is the uplifting. Remember the word truma means to lift up. Even though it is the simple meaning here is, is, the, is, is, to, is the offering. But I, I said today at work, I said it's not a horizontal removal, it's a vertical removal, right? Anyway, through meaning that when it says that this is the truma you should take from them, this is the offering you should take from them, it means that this is the uplifting, this is the elevation that the person takes from himself. 
Zehu ba al yadeya maisa. That comes from the deed. That comes from the action. The hu zav chesav nechoshes. That is the the gold and the silver and the copper. So loy ma al yadeya uvda. That meaning, the action is what lifts up the person, and the thought is what lifts up the glory of God. And it makes sense like that, because people are naturally sanctified through these holy actions that God commanded, whether or not they have the proper intentions. But the glory of God, in a simple way, we don't have to talk in anything Kabbalistic. I'm talking about the... If someone just does something not for the glory of God, how is the glory of God elevated for that? But if we're doing it for the glory of God, so the glory of God is elevated. It's just a very simple thing. You know, meaning if, if someone doesn't murder and doesn't steal because that's the right thing to do, well, society benefits from that. Even if the person has selfish intentions, society benefits from that. Meaning he, he doesn't murder and steal, so no one uh, from, uh, from or to other people. Murder other people, steal from other people. So other people shouldn't murder him and shouldn't steal from him. Right? The, the whole society benefits from, from that. But that only benefits the man. That only benefits the human. That only benefits society, which is all well and good. But if we do so because God commanded so, that brings glory to God in this world. I mean, when we say the Shechina, we mean God's manifestation in this world. And that is the great reward that, like the like the Chavos Lavavis teaches in the Hakdomah to Chavos Lavavis, I'm only quoting that because I just learned it this week or last week. I just started to learn Chavos Lavavis. I finished the Mesel Sisharim, and I, I took on myself to learn Sifrei Musar as a schus of Rufu Shlema for my Rebbe, for Kalavar Rebbe, for Moshe Ben Aisha Rezel, Rufu Shlema. Um, so, so, Baruch Hashem, I, I finished the, the, the Mesil Sisharim. Now I'm learning Chavos Lavavis, and, and the Hakdomi says there, it's a, it's a Gavaldic thing, that, you know, if the reward, if the punishment is linked to the thought, so the reward has to be linked to the thought. So that's why we have to have the right thoughts when we do mitzvahs and all the time. Because we're uplifting God. We're not just uplifting us. We're not just uplifting. And that, what greater reward could there be than that? You know, than to, than to give glory to God. That, that itself is the great reward. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you later. How do I turn this thing off? Why can't I turn it off? What just happened here? There we go.